Oh no. All right, welcome back everybody. Dirk the Red Panda here with Password. Right now this says the video is unavailable, which, oh boy, that is not a good sign. <laughs> to say the least. Are you guys having the same problem as I am where the video is unavailable? Because right now it's saying that on my not preview but just you know my window here the I think you could call it preview window but that thing where it's like it shows you what the video looks like to your audience this is kind of awkward <laughs> oh shoot and my chat box is insanely large yikes <laughs> I'll shrink you guys I'll put you guys back in your place watch Alrighty. <laughs> Take two, maybe? I'm just gonna ask you guys. Can you guys see the video? Alright. That's gonna work, hopefully. But yeah, don't worry. The, the audio is working. There's no audio so far in Password. Or at least in the title screen. I think there is audio in the game, but yeah, there's no, like, audio here on the title cover. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, it works good. Good. It's getting a bit worried there. I've been taking up almost two minutes of you guys' time. So, yeah, we ended with day one yesterday. Or, <laughs> far from yesterday, sorry. We ended day one way the heck back, like, a week and a half ago. Two weeks. I can't count. Yeah, I can't believe I did this last on May 30th, so... Yeah. Hopefully, things are gonna be much better now, so... <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll be more consistent. Yeah, but anyway, I think I chose the Dean route yesterday. I think who we sit next to determines the route. Shrug, maybe? But... Yeah, enough with delaying you guys' time for two and a half minutes. With all of that junk out of the way, let's get into the reading. Alright, day two. Dramatic. Hmm. I don't know what time I woke up. Forgot to set an alarm, apparently. Still, I was thankful that my room had an adjoining bathroom. Did all the bathrooms have these? It would have made sense given the apparent lack of shared bathroom, or even a toilet. But it wasn't as if I made the effort to go searching for those either. Really, I figured it was only bedrooms on this floor after the first couple. I didn't even realize there was a games room on this floor. I had a shower. The trip from yesterday making me feel gross. I should have had one last night, but... Hindsight is twenty twenty. At least I wasn't sharing a bed with anyone to get offended by the smell. I changed clothes and left my room, heading downstairs. I figured everyone would be at breakfast. This day is my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Kabu. Didn't know... If, did you change your sona to a hair? If so, it's pretty cool. Don't see too many of those besides... Uh, Case okay. <laughs> anyway. Oh, happy 23rd. Awesome. Uh, sure enough, I was the last one to arrive again. Everyone already tucking into their food. Never heard that expression before. Man, I love it when I just tuck into my food. <laughs> Rather than individual plates like dinner, it seemed that there was a bunch of things put out. Toast, some eggs, bacon, cereal, pretty much anything that you'd find at a hotel breakfast buffet, but scaled down for the seven of us. Ah, that sounds so good. I just had an awesome breakfast, too, like a couple minutes back. Just cleaned up and everything. Had bacon, eggs, sausage, fruit, pancakes. Oh, it was amazing. 
And congratulations to Kira on graduating college. <laughs> nice. I got two more years myself. So, lucky you. <laughs> I took a seat next to Roswell, who was seated closest to the door. Oh, uh, wait. Morning. <laughs> I was about to say that in Roswell's voice. I'm like, Dave's not Roswell. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Good morning. Roswell seemed distracted by something. Well, two things. The first thing was the notepad he held. Pen and the other poised to write, but still stuck on a blank page. There were a few times just watching where he went to write, but to no avail. The second was his eyes, flicking back and forth between the two groups that had formed at the table. The first, down one end, consisted of Ty and Sal. The two of them seemed to be getting on well enough, although they weren't conversing. I seemed glued to the food in front of them, with the croc seemingly shoveling in what he could before going for more. Down the other end were the others. Orlando, Haas, and Dean were all making small talk, although occasionally one of them would look down to the other end of the table. I see things are still a bit tender after last night. No kidding, but at least no one's throwing punches still. Not wrong there. <laughs> Hopefully they can make up soon. It, it's going to be an awkward month if they keep going at it the whole time. Given we're at, what, day one of our stay? Yeah, this lasting a whole month is going to go, get old fast. I'm, hope, I'm hopeful things are going to work out. Maybe they just need some space. Some time spent do, doing our own thing might just be what they need. What are you going to be up to today? Oh, me. I was going to finalize this thing and talk to Benson about stuff. Maybe find out what's around beyond the mansion. I wouldn't get your hopes up. I don't think there's anything be, or anything but the forest. I thought I was going to say beyond the forest. Oh, silly me. And, yeah, it's not the audio that's having a problem. It's just that there's no audio in the game. Music is all the way up, so if any music comes on, it will burst your ears. So I'm going to kind of put it down a little so your ears don't get burst. Just being safe. <laughs> uh, so you were sleeping as we were getting near. I know at the very least there's a river somewhere if you wanted to go fishing. Or swimming in something other than the pool. A river, huh? Anything else? Hmm... I think there's an old shack somewhere out there, too. What, like a tool shed? More like a cabin. A cabin in the woods. <laughs> oh, God. Just turns into cabin in the woods. <laughs> it's not even in the mansion anymore. It's just like, we're just in the cabin in the woods. We're gonna die. <laughs> so, more like a cabin. I think someone used to live out there before the mansion was put up. Eh, I don't really know. <laughs> Dirk trying to ear rape us. Oh, Jaro. <laughs> Back at it again. But, yeah, hopefully we don't have any bad audio problems. Yeah, my audio is just negative 7.5, just to be safe. So, wait, who told you about this anyway? Uh, I think, I think it was my parents. Uh, it might have been Benson, I don't know. <laughs> Very suspicious. It's Roswell the whole time. <laughs> Spooky. Very spooky. Oh boy, Cabin in the Woods. I love that movie. I didn't watch that movie. I haven't examined two days and another one in four. So sorry, random gamer. But I think I studied enough. As long as I don't do something dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. Just don't... Yeah, just... Be like... Just trust yourself. That That's my big advice for tests. Just trust yourself. You know, you studied the work, you put in the work, you're just going to do. Just do you. Just do what you know on there. So, yeah, just don't make anything more. So, anyway, that is my advice for the day. Dirk's Antidotes of Wisdom. <laughs> also known as Dawes. <laughs> D-A-W's. So, anyway, Tyson got up suddenly, seemingly done with his meal and left. All eyes were on him as he did, but he didn't seem to care. As for Sal, he moved up to the rest of the group, but remained as stoic as ever. 
Orlando, for the most part, seemed the most relieved with Ty's absence, but Dean was the first to speak. Well, well, uh, I don't know what you guys are planning on doing today, but I want to check out the greenhouse out back. See what's growing in there. I'll go swim. Maybe. Or the gym downstairs. How's that activity shaping up, Roswell? Any chance to talk to Benson about it yet? Not yet. I hope to have something sorted soon, though. Oh, if I see him before you do, I'll mention you want to see him. Oh, that's okay. I was just going to wait here until he came to clean up after breakfast. Well, I'm going to go for a walk. Uh, I'll see you guys around. Oh, it's so hard to do Roswell and Haas, like, back and forth with each other. It's like, Roswell's kind of a high pitch like this, and then Haas is kind of more June, but it's, like, less less kind of uh, nose closed, I guess. Ah, explaining my process to you guys. I know you guys didn't come here to hear me talk about that stuff. <laughs> Alright, wait, the fauna of this game looks like EA. Uh, kinda. This is the default font, Deja Vu Sans, TTF. I know that because I've worked in Renby for the, not the past week, but a week ago for the past week. <laughs> like, you know, like, from two weeks ago to one week ago, you know what I mean, but I ended up doing that and started playing with the font, tried to change the font, God, I changed it to such a bad font at one point. I tried to change it to like this cursive font, but then I was like, maybe I should just make the title buttons that, and I could just turn them into buttons instead of changing the whole entire game's default fonts. Ugh, the more you know, right? So, anyway. Well, I'm going to go for a walk. I'll see you guys around. The same here. I want to check out some other areas. Spent all of my time yesterday checking out the kitchen. So we're, so we're all splitting up again? Alright, I guess I'll see you guys at lunch, or dinner, or whatever. Works for me. Everyone that had rocked up earlier had and had finished eating filed out, leaving just me and Roswell. Still, the board next to me was still stuck for what to write. Need a hand? Oh, it's alright. You just get some coffee in you before you go feral. Hey, I'm not that bad without coffee. You're pretty bad. Fine, fine. I ate and drank in relative silence, the prospect of me getting coffee seemingly an inspiration for a sudden novel by how much Roswell was suddenly jotting down. It's like we could write a novel about this. <laughs> oh god, furry corpse party. This game is 18 plus, so, you know. <laughs> when I was done, I left the dining room to have a little bit of a wonder. Check out the pool, check out the rec room, check out the gym, check out the conservatory. Where did Dean say he was going again? Just be safe. Mystery. Dean. I'm trying to figure out what Dean said he was doing. Yeah, okay, I want to check out the greenhouse. We are going to check out the greenhouse! <laughs> to the greenhouse! Dean mentioned that this morning that he was going to check out the greenhouse. I assumed it wouldn't be too hard to find once I was outside, and I was right. It stuck out being one of the few things in the expansive yard leading away from the mansion to the forest beyond. Dean? You in here? Yeah, just a sec. Well, hey, hey, good looking. Come to see me especially. Must be, or must be my lucky day. Um, sorta. <laughs> you just said you were checking the greenhouse out. Figured I'd come check it out too. It seems pretty good. There's a whole bunch of extra stuff here, too. Pine soil, trowels, even a cabinet with various seeds in there. If we were staying for longer, I'd probably try growing something. Uh, flowers, maybe? It's shame, or, yeah, shame we are only here for a month. 
Oh, yeah. Where'd you grow? Anything decent? Well... Uh, Dean shuffled uncomfortably. <laughs> he just grew some weed. <laughs> it's like, uh... Just like, uh, nothing. <laughs> I mean... I do like fresh vegetables, but... Uh, flowers, probably. Flowers? Don't be such a flower. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have to keep using that phrase. Anyway, roses. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess roses. Well, nothing wrong with that. Can I be honest? Sure. There's a great deal of things I'd like to grow. Trees, flowers, vegetables... Hell, growing a tree to cut it down for lumber to make something for the house. Or vegetables to bring in for dinner. Or flowers to bring home to my beloved. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Dean. Just gotta pet that pet of yours. I could see where this was going, and suddenly I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> Dean. Well, that, that would be the best case scenario, of course. Tim, too bad that date never worked out. You could have made away with that, all of that. Wait, you could have made away with all of that easy. <laughs> Dean's laughter seemed genuine, but there was still that tinge of sadness that followed. <laughs> there are already things growing in here, so I could take care of them instead of growing something from a seed. Much faster and honestly, probably for the best. Just in case there, there's a setup or something. Don't want to go messing with that, just in case. Yeah, probably a good idea. Don't want to get caught growing weed or something. <laughs> womp womp. You know, I probably could if I tried hard enough. And if there was something I already started in here. Although, don't know much about it. <laughs> I'm a good Christian boy. <laughs> well, you could always ask. Ah. I'm going to have to hit you if you suggest Tyson. Typical that someone like him would know, though. Oh boy, those two are gonna butt heads. Hey now, be fair. You don't know if he does or not. Alright, alright. So we good? Of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm trying to think of that. Oh, what movie was that from? Eh, I forgot. I played the TJ Root. <laughs> I just looked at them like, TJ Root? Oh, Echo. <laughs> yeah, TJ Root is... <laughs> oh, God, interesting. Be ready for a ride. Or if you've already played it, man, that was a ride. So anyway, I'm gonna hang here still and have a look at what else is growing. You going to keep looking around? Maybe. Haven't really decided. <laughs> well, I'll be here if you need me. See you in a, or see you a bit later, Dave. Winky face. <laughs> oh man. Dean wondered. Or did Dave say that? Yeah, it was Dave. Dean said it. Ugh. Dean and Dave. I should have said Dirk as my name. All these D names are confusing. What's it with this game being so obsessed with a D? Anyway, Dean wandered back behind the greenery, and I headed back inside. Check out the pool, check out the rec room, check out the gym, check out the conservatory, check out the museum, or check out the vault. <laughs> Alright guys, it is up to you. Put your votes in now, and maybe you'll get your choice chosen. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to choose. And you guys are probably lagging like 30-ish seconds behind when I said that, so it'll take you guys probably a while to get that. Yeah, the route kind of ends on a cliffhanger, though, since we don't get to see if they get in a relationship or something. Spoilers! I really don't care. <laughs> it's only on like, oh, it's only up to like day six, I heard right now. Why is, why is game obsessed with the D during 2019? <laughs> That is my new shirt. Buy it on my merch store. <laughs> oh, God. I have a Patreon. <laughs> God. Why am I so terrible? I'm just waiting for you guys to, like, vote. So, yeah. I should mention my patrons. Like, that should be a thing. Like, you pay at least a dollar, I'll mention you at the end of my videos and make a list. 
Shout out to my two patrons, Badger and Ride Hood. Or also known as North Grizz if you're on Discord. Guy who voices Amicus and the guy who voices Kato on my Adastra videos. My Ave Adastrians videos. Yeah. Love how it's like the two people that I work with are supporting me. All nine dollars, man. Getting in that bank. <laughs> Dirk selling out, I see. Tisk tisk. What has fame done to me? Those <laughs> those eight hundred subscribers are really doing me in. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just chilling. Okay, we do have votes now. Pool, rec room, vault. All right, random number generator activate. Random number. It's so awkward without like music in the background. I really want to put music in the background, but I don't want to get like copyright or any of that stuff. I should look up royalty free music. Save the ball for last. Oh, you can choose whatever you want now. I assume you can choose everything. Shoot, I didn't type in the word generator. Oh, no, wait, this is Bing. Bing doesn't have it. Screw you, Bing. You're not like Google. Isn't the TJ route complete? Yeah. It's very crazy, to say the least. Okay, come on, now I just... Integer generator. Oh, God, is it giving me a download? Okay. Generate one random integers between one and positive or negative a thousand. Format in one columns. Get numbers. Okay, my random number. Two. What is choice two? Rec room. We're going to the rec room, guys. Down the hall from my room, I figured I'd try searching the, for the game's room Haas mentioned. It didn't take long, largely because the door was open, but also because there was excited cheering coming from within. High score! Woo! Man, that reminds me of Rastor from uh, Lovers of Aether, because he's like rapping about himself. He's like, the name is Rastor, we're about to bust a beat. I kick everybody's ass in video games, and nobody wants to be my friend! And then just, like, starts running off and crying. Oh, God, it's like that. Orlando is Ra Raster Sona. <laughs> okay, you can choose all, but the fault is last. Fair enough. So, as I wandered in, immediately I could see Orlando hunched over a machine in the corner. Pinball, I think. However shy of that, what this place looked more like was a miniature casino. Wow. Tables were about, a bar in the corner, fixtures for bright lights. It was all there. I was a bit dazed, honestly. This place kept surprising me in terms of just how uh, unique it was. Who was rich enough to have their own casino? Or at least a mock-up of one. Oh, I can't spoil it. I can't spoil a Gretzko season two, but ah. Uh, if you know, you know. You know who I'm talking about. I just watched it last night. I binged so hard on it. It was amazing. Anyway, while my mind was reeling, Orlando must have looked up and wondered over. Oh, hey, Dave. Is, it, is this cool or what? It's very... Uh, what word was best to use here? To be honest, any number would have worked out, but I just couldn't decide. You were playing pinball, right? Or was it slots? <laughs> God, I'm just thinking about that thing. It's like, what number would it be? It's making me think of this, if you've ever heard of Call Me Carson, that channel. There's this one video where he's like completely unhinged, and he's like, like some person in his chat is like, watching it during class, like, math class or whatever, and Carson's just like, I can name so many numbers, and just starts listing off random numbers. Oh, God. Definitely recommend his channel if you like shitposting type of stuff. What did I miss, Otaku? Or, what have I, what, what have I missed? Nothing much, Otaku. I, I can't speak, you haven't missed that. So, anyway. 
Nah, Pinball, although I see what you say, slots given how this place looks. To be honest, I thought I'd get carded when I wandered in here. Carded? What, for being underage? Really? Uh, yeah, that was security and cons or that's what security and casinos do, isn't it? Yeah, but you're not underage, Orlando. You'd be fine. Geez, I realize how chonky Orlando is. And he has my beard. Except that it's fully connected instead of just a little goatee and then the sides. Oh my god, Orlando has my hair. Stop it, Orlando. You that's what I'd wear. Yeah, I agree with you, Random. So, well, sure, we both know that. But who knows if there was security about? I don't even have my ID on me. Sure, but that's not in your wallet. Oh, it is. But I left it in my room. Wait, when... What's the problem? Uh... Uh... Hmm? But... You could have just gone and gotten it and came back. Oh. <laughs> uh, such an airhead. Oh. I guess you're right. <laughs> no harm done at all. Sometimes I wonder whether Orlando or Roswell is worse at spacing out. Maybe that's why they get along so well. So you... Or so have you just been playing pinball or have you tried anything else in here? Oh yeah, there's a few gaming systems hooked up to a TV on that wall over there. Well, <laughs> I think it's projected onto a screen that comes down from the ceiling. Haven't got given them a go yet. Couldn't figure out how to turn them on. Not that I'm very good at them anyway. And these tables. Uh, card tables, right? Well, for poker, I'm guessing. Not really the type of cards I like, but they'd work. You like those collectible card games, right? Where you open the packs and then make decks? That's it, although I'm col I like collecting them more than playing competitively. Although you were the last- you were there the last time I played. Yes, Orla- er, yes, Akira, I have a beard. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> So, at the convention, right? That was insane. Although getting to see some of the games early was pretty cool. And the costumes! I was going to ask Roswell to come next time. If I go, or next time I go, if I felt up to going at all. They can be pretty exhausting, and we don't really live near any major convention halls. Uh, still, all a bit fun, a bit of fun, I guess. It doesn't beat the kitchen, though. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, I was meaning to ask. What part of dinner last night did you make? It was all so good, and I hadn't eaten all day, so I kind of just stuffed my face. Deemed the, er, deemed the same. Not that he bothered asking what I contributed. Honestly, I didn't do a whole lot. Benson had it, um, or Benson had most of it covered. I was still amazed by what they had in the kitchen. Uh, did you know their freezer was stockpiled so high it was almost as if they were planning to ration food out for the next few years? It's nuts! I did manage to make something, though. Just wasn't ready in time. It should be tonight. Oh, is it a spoiler if I ask what you made? Uh, oh, nothing special. Just pie. Oh, really? The pie crust. I prefer to do all the fillings after, so the crust has enough time to chill. What flavor do you want? Given you were the only one to ask, may as well let you pick. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I would go for apple pie. But pumpkin pie is also really dank. Pies are, all, pies are really good in general. But damn, apple pie is... Mm, apple pie is amazing. Do you know what's also really good? Apple fritters. Apple fritters are amazing. I had some back on my vacation this last week, and oh my god. The place I went was back in the Midwest, and they had the best car caramel rolls. Like the 
the paste or whatever they used for the caramel. I'm not sure if it's a sauce, but whatever you call it, the caramel spread was so smooth. I could have food gasm like I did on that Tennessee stream. It was so good. <laughs> Orlando sounding like Cassius. Well, he sounds like my Cassius, not the Cassius on my Aviodastrian stream. <laughs> I think Stellar does a much better job with Cassius than I do. Pop his cherry. Oh my god, stop it, Jaro. No, no, no. Oh my god, this is this is an inside joke I've had with my friends. Oh god. <laughs> oh, long story short about that. I made I made like a cher cherry popping joke, and ever since I've been called the cherry popper. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> you just triggered me hard, Jaro. You just got me going. But yeah, I'm gonna go for apple pie if it doesn't affect any like decisions on what uh, Orlando likes. I don't think Orlando mentioned anything that he liked. Anyway, apple pie it is. Or he likes cherry, I think. Hmm. I am so curious. I'm gonna take a sip of water while I wait for you guys to comment on that. Breakfast made me thirsty as hell. Hmm. I mean, I know in uh, tennis ace that you want to pick strawberry for everything, but anyway, we're going to go for apple pie unless you guys say something. Apple pie it is. Apple pie? Uh, that should work. I mean, I've got a recipe for that memorized, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let me see what happens if I go for cherry. The words were no sooner out of my mouth when I realized what I've said. Oh, yep, he loves cherry. We're going with cherry. <laughs> the words were no sooner out of my mouth when I realized what I've said. Orlando's eyes were, right, were wide, ugh, shimmering with delight. Ch -ch cherry pie? He twitched. Had I said something wrong? Did he just foodgasm? I love cherry pie. I, uh, I've seen pictures of it before. It's, uh, it's great, is what it is. Have you really not had it before? I've had apple pies from McDonald's before. Or from McDonald's before. Uh, that's not the same. Also, that's kind of bad. <laughs> Orlando seemed thoughtful for a few minutes before seeming resolute on something. <laughs> Just have to make you the best cherry pie I can make. Although I worry I might be setting the standards too high for you for for, for your first time. <laughs> uh The cherry popping gods have answered our prayers. Oh uh, brother. Uh, uh, did you just <laughs> looks down, <laughs> looks at <down> his pants. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god, Orlando. Cherry popper. Oh my god, this is just a good thumbnail. Orlando the cherry popper. You've heard it from me first, guys. <laughs> okay, sorry. I haven't done that in a while. This game's got McDonald's? Yep, they got McDonald's, boy. So, what? Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, so long as you don't breathe all over the pie, we should be fine. <laughs> or stick your junk in the pie. <laughs> breathe. Oh, uh, nah, the oven in the kitchen is great. Well, uh... Ovens, really? Besides, I think I'd burn it if I tried breathing all over it. What, are you a fire-breathing dragon? I remember the day that Orlando had me come in to try more of his experimental pieces. Various pastries, cookies, cakes, you name it. Apparently, the oven had been playing up, so a lot of what he had made had scorch marks. It was only after we were done that I had thought to ask why. Turns out, with a bit of practice... Dragon breath can be substituted for an oven. Just not very well. 
Oh, well, <laughs> I'm sure it'll turn out fine anyway, right? A pie is pie is pie. End of the day, I've gotten to make something, so I'm happy. <laughs> when will you need to get started on that? Not until later, although I'll need to assemble all the ingredients still, given that I'm going to go explore for a bit before I'm forced into the kitchen. Make me a sandwich, Orlando! <laughs> anyway, sponge cheesecake is the best. Oh yeah, strawberry shortcake's also really good, I think. So anyway, see you at dinner then? Yep, I'll see you then! He jogged off, leaving me in the fancy room. Nothing really to do here by oneself, unless I wanted to try and figure out how the video games worked. But that could wait. With nothing left to it, I left. Check out the pool, check out the gym, check out the conservatory, check out the museum, check out the vault, which we're going to do last. Random number between one and four. In one columns, get numbers. Four. We're going to check out the museum. To the museum. While I was wandering around, I heard some happy humming from nearby. Following its source led me to a room at the far end of the level. A large room that seemed to be a sturdy on er, seemed to be a study on steroids. Or a library that dabbled in things other than books. Look at that giant library, Roswell being so intrigued by books. Hmm. Dave, this place is great. Suddenly, Roswell is standing right next to me, seemingly popping out from behind a bookshelf nearby. They have books on nearly anything you could want here. Even a few on ghosts and summoning demons. Wait, what? <laughs> oh god, I feel like Ross was gonna be the guy who does magic in this series. What sort of place has books like that? You didn't really trade our souls so we could stay here, did you? No, no, I promise. <laughs> Fucking liar. <laughs> Besides, I had a look t and these books are look sketchy at best. Almost like, <laughs> made as a joke. I don't know whether I should be asking how you know the difference, or if demons really do exist. Well... I can guarantee that there's a very, very low chance of anyone just picking up one of these books and doing any real harm. Watch Ty just pick it up and just, like, totally screw up the whole place. So, unless they decide to bludgeon you with it from behind. <laughs> Dude, not funny. Or, too, not funny. No one's barbaric enough to commit murder with one of these books. They aren't nearly heavy enough. I followed as Roswell pointed out some books on the top shelf of one of those bookcases. Or one of the bookcases. The bookcase. Only really heavy ones are those encyclopedias up there. It'd be a lot of work to get them down just to hit someone over the head with them. You could do better with, like... A knife or something. <laughs> oh my god, he's turning into one of my friends who knows about a lot about sharp weapons and her dad was in an ex gang or her dad was an ex gang member. Oh god. <laughs> Roswell, don't go down that path. Once again, I felt uneasy about how casually Roswell was talking about how one could off someone with what was in the room. Like I said, Roswell's the one! He's the murderer! I mean, knowledge is power, but this was something else. What about something that... There was a suit of armor in the corner, both hands placed one over the other on top of the pommel of the sword that was on display before it. Uh, or, I mean, borrowing that sword seems easier than climbing a ladder to get a heavy book, right? The way Roswell seemed to thoroughly consider the option was almost worrying. <laughs> well, maybe. 
Have you ever used a sword before? Ones like those can be kind of weighty. Not to mention you'd have a hard time prying it away from the armor. What makes you say that? Well, because it's just a display. Chances are the sword is tied down or something. Or in some way attached to stop it from falling over. Normally, someone wearing the armor would be pushing down. You know, to keep it standing upright like that. I guess that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, Roswell, anything else deadly in the room I should know about? Deadly? <laughs> no. Although, if you're ever looking for information, or even just neat things to look at, this is the room. I want to keep exploring this room. Still plenty of things to check out. Just don't go planning any murders, alright? I'll keep looking around the mansion. You got it. No murders from me. Heh, <laughs> heh. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? Roswell's a crystal gem. <laughs> I know, it's like he looks like a Steven Universe character with that star. I don't watch Steven Universe, but it's just like, you know, it's there. And with that, I continued on. Lord help. Check out the pool, check out the gym, check out the conservatory. And our lucky number is Dun four. <laughs> Never mind, not the vault. And our lucky number is three. Check out the conservatory. Wandering around upstairs led me to a room, or rather a set of window doors that showed the room beyond to be a mix between a greenhouse and a study. Hoss was inside, looking around, seemingly in no rush. Upon spotting me, he gestured to come inside. Well, hey. Er, well, hey. Hey. Found the, conserv er, found the conservatory, too, huh? Conservatory? Like, in that board game? <laughs> that one where you figure out who murdered the butler? Was it the butler that was killed, or was it the butler that was the killer? You know, it's been so long since I last played it, I don't remember. You know, ever since I played it, I wonder what a conser conservatory actually was. If I can speak. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm just gonna go back and change something. Okay. We good. I'm sorry for... Sorry, Kaibu. I'm doing random numbers just to make it go faster, because we get to choose everything. So, anyway, seems to just look like a greenhouse, though. Uh, kinda. A greenhouse for people, maybe. Generally, that it's just a posh sitting room. Huh. Never knew that. You know, for when you want sun, but don't actually want to go outside and get sun. For all the pale, rich people. The one percenters. Or sit near a window. I mean... I mean, it seems kind of redundant when you got a place this big. Not to mention the backyard being as big as it is. No kidding. Besides, what would you even use one of these rooms for, really? Reading? Could read, yeah. But wouldn't that be impossible when night fell? With all the windows, I mean? Good thing they have lights, then, I guess. But wouldn't people be able to see in? Creeps. Normally, yeah, but who's going to be looking in? The forest around the mansion means the closest neighbor would need a telescope at best. I guess you're right. <laughs> I kind of like it, though. I'll probably do my morning stretches in here as opposed to my bedroom. Stretches? You mean... Actually, no, wait. I take back the thing about Orlando's beard. Haas has my beard. Haas has my beard, like, chin strap style, where it's, like, it's a beard, goes up, and then kind of has that kind of frohawk, or faux hawk, I think it's called, at the front there. That's me. Haas is me. <laughs> so, wait, what did I say? Stretches, you mean... Doesn't he do yoga? I think he does yoga. Close, but no. Pilates? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Why is it that the second choice is always the right choice? 
Pilates. <laughs> That's it. I do Pilates. I've done Pilates too. It's really good for your body. At the very least, right idea. I just do stretches in the morning to keep my body healthy. I'm not looking to become flexible or build mass. Gotta be a thick boy. <laughs> Jaro, you have been banished from the chat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway. Just looking to make sure I can do whatever's needed of me on set without getting out of breath or injuring myself. Oh, uh, or, yeah, oh, sure. You sure are dedicated to getting to Hollywood someday. <laughs> Funny thing is, I live close to Hollywood, but I'd never be famous in Hollywood because I don't try for any of those st things. Plus, it's really hard. It's a lot harder than you expect. You have to know people. I don't know people, so great. I actually have one uncle, though, that made it in Hollywood. He was on CSI, I think, or something like that, or NCIS. He was the villain in one episode, which is awesome. <laughs> it was, like, the one where it's, like, there's some chick or... No. It was, like, some guy was like going to box or whatever but he had like a health condition and then like this news reporter is like i must tell the truth to everybody so he doesn't box and kill himself and then she gets murdered because like basically my uncle's just like i can't have this going out must murder this guy or must murder this chick and she's found in like a locker room or something or found in a locker dead yeah eh, it was fun good times <laughs> thick hoss <laughs> He is a thick hoss. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting too distracted. Back to the reading. <laughs> oh, sure. You sure are dedicated to getting to Hollywood someday. I'll get there somehow. I mean, with all the core strength I could, probably pole dance for the cash. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Spencer, calm down. <laughs> no wonder they call it Spencer's. Also, I, if you know Badger, he tried writing a fanfic about TJ being a pole dancer. <laughs> really great, I'd recommend it. <laughs> so, wait, what? <laughs> kidding. Or kidding? Just because we're on holiday, can't let up practicing. You're welcome to join me if you ever get up early. Pole dancing? <laughs> I doubt I will be, but... Thanks. This place is great. Good energy for practicing lines. Might stick around here and check out the acoustics a little bit more, though. Sure. I'll see you around, Hoss. Bye. Check out the pool or check out the gym? Little bit of this, little bit of that, little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> I'm gonna go with pool because somebody was like, check out the pool. And yeah, pool seems pretty lit. Pool's litty titty. I wandered outside. Apparently the pool was out this way. Thankfully, I had the sounds of splashing guiding me towards a large fenced-off area where a large green mass was doing laps. Oh. I must have walked past the gate twice, or past the gate in twice, as by the time I'd found in... Sal had noticed me circling and had come to the side of the pool to wait. Oof. Wait, wait. Okay, he is wearing clothes. I was like, is he naked? He's naked? Sal, it took you long enough. Hey, the gate was hard to find. There's a few. I watched as Sal then proceeded to point out each of the gates in turn. I felt stupid for not seeing them sooner, but it was easy to see them now that I knew what they looked like. Hey, cut me some slack. I never had a pool back home. I don't know what pool fences look like. A gate is a gate. Savage, Sal, savage. Do you not know how to swim? Nah, I know how to swim. I've been to a beach. And parents had me take lessons when I was a kid. The corners of Sal's mouth went up with a jeering smile. <laughs> lessons. Cute. With that, he dove back into the pool and swam under the surface away. Bye, Sal. 
The water was perfectly clear, and I watched as he swam to the far end and back, not coming up for air once. Still, I could feel him watching me from below. If I had come prepared, I probably would have jumped in. At least after thinking whether or not pre that predatory smile of was him sizing me up for a snack. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, wink, nudge, wink. <laughs> With Sal underwater, it was hard to hold a conversation, so I figured I'd look around. There wasn't much to the pool itself, aside from it being large. There was storage lock there were storage lockers there, most of which opened shy of two that seemed to be closed and locked. Aside from that, some spare pool gear, flippers, standard stuff. You're in the way. Suddenly Sal was behind me, looming. How did he get out of the water without making a sound? I moved aside and he went for one of the closed lockers. Pulling a key from his speed. Had he really just stored it there? I mean, there wasn't any other place he could have just pocketed it. Have you have your own locker already? I needed a place to store my towel. Oh, right. You can take a different one. Keys are just sticking out. Despite retrieving a towel, he didn't retrieve his clothes, instead looking off somewhere and leaving his locker open. I looked inside, back to Sal, then to the locker again. Look at your man now, back to me. Now look at your man now, back to me. Your man's a crocodile or alligator. Or, I think he's a crocodile. He's thick. He's also thick. Did I mention he's thick? <laughs> Everybody in this game is thick. <laughs> anyway, did he want me to do something here, or... Showers are this way. <clears throat> I'm trying to practice this voice for when Tennis Ace comes back on. It's going to be Keisuke's roots. And then I'll have to do Alex's voice. It's going to be kind of similar. Just big guys doing big voices. Showers are this way. With the, statement, with the statement came the closing of the locker. And him wandering off to the side. Whoever had desert... Designate. Whoever had designed the pool had gone with a wooden privacy screen thing, almost like you'd find at some beaches. He disappeared inside, and I started to hear water running. Uh, can you hold my towel? Oh, yeah, sure. It was thrown over the top of the booth, and I caught it. It was plush to the touch, much like the one I'd used for my shower. It must have come from the bathroom in his room. Why didn't he just hang it over the top of the partition, though? As Not as if I could ever see it over it, but maybe he didn't want to risk getting it dirty on the wood or accidentally fraying it? Who knows? Oh, there's one of my patrons that died. So, how's the water? Good. And you were just doing laps? Yes. <laughs> so, it was a great conversationalist. Totally. <laughs> there wasn't much I could really think to ask. I could have asked him why he came out here, what his plans for the day were, but honestly, I didn't want to come across as clingy. I heard the water shut off, but nothing after. Call out, throw the towel over, or do nothing. Hmm, let's see what happens when we call out. Uh, you okay in there, Sal? Yes. Towel, please. Much as it had been given to me, I threw the towel back over. There were sounds of drying, and before I knew it, Sal was back around the other side with the towel, uh, with the towel around his waist. My voice cracked, I'm sorry. I'm curious to see what the other ones are. He wandered back over to his locker, grabbed his clothes, and put on his shirt before heading over to one of the deck chairs. Hoodie and shorts seemed to stay behind. So just sunbaking so just sunbathing for the rest of the day? Yes. It's good weather for it. I don't think they were forecasting rain. Even if it rained, it'd be fine. I like the rain. I remember the day we met well. It had been raining and I noticed that Sal had just been standing outside in it for a solid hour. At first I thought he'd just forgotten his umbrella while he was waiting for the bus home. Nope, just really enjoyed the rain. <laughs> 
Weird. So, I think I'm going to check out other parts of the house. Okay. I could have sworn that there was a tinge of sadness in his voice, but he made no effort to stop me going. Maybe he was lonely, but Sal hadn't struck me as someone wanting company all that often, if at all. Granted, he didn't give me much of an insight into what he was feeling even on a good day. That's just the kind of person he is. Check out the gym. I found myself heading down to the basement. Even as I walked down, I could hear and smell someone down there. Groans and grunts, the clanging of metal. It was only a matter of following the sounds until I came across another room down there, well lit and lined with training equipment. 56. 57. From the looks of things, Tyson was doing weights, laying on his back and pushing himself without assistance. I could have sworn it was dangerous to do stuff like this without assistance, but he did. He seemed to be managing. 58. 58. He was struggling now, arms shaking as he was doing the reps. I'd stayed near the entrance. I hate to see him accidentally drop it over his chest. Didn't think I'd be much help getting it off him. 59. Then with a growl, he put the weight back on its stand, flopping over the bench, panting hard, tongue lolling out to the side of his mouth. Working hard? W uh, Dave. <laughs> How long have you been standing there, anyway? Just got here. Kinda. You doing weights? Well, was, you know. He rubbed his arms, looking gingerly over at the machine. <laughs> Might have pushed it a little hard this time. Added on too much weight or something. Arms are killing me already. Still, I love that feeling you get after working out. The way my muscles feel. Last time I worked out properly, I remember it just hurting all over for the rest of the day. Not to mention the day after. So true. I did weights like on vacation one day and I just could not get myself to do it again. Oh yeah? What were you doing anyway? I don't know. I was just kind of watching other guys at the park. <laughs> I knew as soon as I'd said it, Ty was getting the wrong idea. <laughs> watching other guys, huh? Not like that. Like, uh, trying to copy what they were doing. Yeah, sure you were. There was something about t how Tyson said that. Something that implied that his interest lay elsewhere. So, coming down here to work out? Might want to reconsider if you're going to be wearing that. Nah, I was just exploring. I heard you grunting from the stairs, actually. <laughs> Didn't realize I was so loud. Guess I should be more careful in the future. Or, you know, close to the door to the gym. <laughs> Maybe I'd like to make a little noise. Besides, you could only hear me what... Hold on, take two. Maybe I'd like to make a little noise. Besides, you could only hear me once you were down here, right? Well, yeah, I guess. That and smell you. Tyson's gaze narrowed. I could smell his musk from here. Stronger now that I was closer to. <laughs> you can smell me, huh? You need a shower, it's not that bad. I kinda like it. <laughs> Nah, just kidding. The smile of a villain, truly. You need a shower. Um, I'm just gonna go with it's not that bad. I know if I do something like I kind of like it, he's gonna really come on to us. And that's kind of weird. He is not allowed in Planet Fitness. <laughs> he's one of those. Alright, so it's not that bad. Heh. <laughs> Ty seemed to ease up now that I wasn't critiquing his smell. He'd always been prone to criticism, and I'd been caught out a few times by accidentally offending him. What? Well, 
might be because you're not a wolf, but it's worse that it's worse than what you can smell, I guess. Be glad your nose isn't as strong as mine. It's pretty bad. How does it get so bad? Do you sweat a lot? Nah, don't sweat. Just get dirty. The gear must have still been dusty when I lay down or something. I don't know. Still, could benefit from a shower, I think. At least, or still, could benefit from a shower, I think. At least at some point. Why? Gonna keep working out? Haven't decided yet. Probably best that I stay out of the way of everyone else. We just don't get on. Don't think we ever will, right? I can't blame Ty for feeling this way. After all, for a lot of us, he'd been a common link given the schools he'd been to in the past. Didn't help them in ne- or didn't help that nearly half of them he was kicked out for bad behavior. His reputation of, of a bully preceded him. Not to mention how he behaved last night. But somehow we ended up we ended up the unlikely friends given happenstance, really. I wonder where I should go now. Hmm. The vault. Somehow, at some point, I found myself looking at a familiar looking door. Something about the room seemed weird. Almost as if a haze lingered in the room. But it, as much as it felt off, my body dragged me across to the keypad next to the door. Not again! Maybe I should just... Try putting in something I've given I'm here. Input password. Oh, brother. What should I do, guys? I feel like once you get the password, it shit's gonna go crazy. Hmm, this is such a tough thing. I'm like thinking really hard about this. Just say three. <laughs> That's the password. Three? Would three just be the password? I wonder if I can go back. It beeped in air. Clearly not happy what I just put in. Two. It beeped in air. <laughs> oh, sorry. My Siri just opened. There we go. Hmm. Password is password. It beeped in air. Hmm. I wonder the more we read, the more we'll figure it out. Oh well, not that I really knew what the password was, but it was better than standing around doing nothing, right? Oh god, like, you know it? You know the actual password? Damn. Oh well, that's fine. Time seemed to slip away from me. I wasn't sure how long I ended up standing there, but I could hear the dinner bell ringing. Everything will change when you get the right password. Everybody will die. I trudged up towards the dining room in a daze, and as it turned out, I was the last one to arrive. It's fun, Nuggets. It's not gonna be fun, Nuggets. <laughs> hey, you okay, Dave? I must have sat down next to Russell when I entered. It was the closest chair to the door by far. Not only that, but the food was already on the table. You look wrecked. Were you busy all day? Maybe. I just... I don't know what happened. I was down at the door downstairs and just zoned out. Oh yeah, the vault. The vault, huh? Yeah, the room downstairs was with the big door and the keypad. I tried P at five five W 
O or W zero R D before it just be deadly. Why that? Oh, I thought maybe it was like a computer, so I uh wait. Is that the passport to your computer, Roswell? N no. The dinner went well enough, and I thought about what I'd seen so far. The pool looked inviting enough. At the very least, Sal seemed to enjoy it, not to mention the fact that it seemed equipped with everything just to hang out shy of a minibar. The gaming room seemed to be fun. Although I worry as to how Orlando perceives it, it's not really a casino, is it? The gym is something I'm not sure I'll use. At least not to the extent Ty is going, likely going to use it. If I wanted to play place to relax, the conservatory seemed like a good place to go. Might have to fight Haas for the space depending, though. There was the museum, full of stuff that... Honestly, I didn't expect from a place like this. Still, probably more things there for me to find if I looked hard enough. The greenhouse was cool. It was almost like a private jungle, but given Dean's interest in the place, there was every likelihood he'd just use the seclusion to... Well, he'd make the most of it. I was so lost in my thoughts that I was roused from them only when Benson placed a hand on my shoulder. Are you well? You seem distressed. Looking around, it seemed as though everyone had already left, leaving myself and the elderly Otter in the room. I have some great memories of my childhood. Drowning a friend? <laughs> anyway. Yeah? Something didn't feel right about this. It felt even farther off as I felt the hand on my shoulder tense. Yeah. I'm fine. Just... Tired, I think. Ah, then may I suggest you return to your room and retire for the night. The others have all done the same, and the mansion sure is big to be wandering around by oneself. But everyone's just in their beds, right? Ah, yes, I suppose that's true. Unless they're not in their beds. <laughs> Genius IQ there, Dave. Once more, I felt Benson's hand grip my shoulder before he stepped away. This whole time, I had been seated, not really getting a proper look at Benson while he was beside me. But as I turned to look at him once he, his grip had left, he was nowhere to be seen. The butler was gone. Oh shit, I should have put in Benson. That should have been the password. Well, crap. I could feel a chill run down my spine and I got up, leaving the dining room quickly and making my way up to the first floor to find my bedroom. I was pacing in my room, trying to calm myself down when I heard a knock at the door. I froze, still unnerved by Benson's behavior before. Come in? Hey! Hey, Dean. Uh, you were out at, or you were out of it at dinner. What's wrong? Uh, nothing, really. No, I know something's off. I know, I've known you long enough to learn that much, Dave. Spill it. Does... Does something feel off about this place to you? Like... Benson. The fact we've not seen anyone else that works here. Or at least, I haven't. Dean looked thoughtful for a moment before coming over and placing his hands on my shoulders. Are you okay? I, uh, yeah, I think so. Why? Dean needed my shoulders, wanting to say, or even do more, but backed off. Okay, well, I'm just down the hall in case you want to talk. Just talk? Well, <laughs> well, I'm not about to say no, but, yeah, just talk. He left, and with the reassurance that not everyone was in on some creepy secret, I suddenly felt tired and went to sleep. End of day two. Alright. That is the end of day two. 
and it's about 1.30. How long have I been recording? Oh, crap. Um... I've been recording for about an hour and ten. Hmm. I don't know if I should keep going longer. I have to help my dad out with dinner, so... It's Father's Day, I want to spend time with him too, so... I'm probably going to cut this episode short. Or, not probably. I will cut this episode short, sorry. Sorry? But, yeah, I'm hoping to maybe do this more so this coming week and... Keep playing Password. And also, Notes of Hearts has been updated, but I can only play it from now on in PC mode. Or, not, like, yeah. In PC mode, but I'd have to open up Wine Bottler, so I'll be still playing it on the Mac technically. But yeah, it'll just be, like, a weird setup now, so. I'm totally okay with that, it's just... Ugh. Gotta have to do that day one all over again on Notes of Hearts. Ah. That'll be fun, though. Plus, I hear they revamped some things, so that'd be really fun. I had the creator, one of the main creators, talk to me about it, so that was fun. <laughs> Thanks, Otaku. I'm going to be spending it with the real Daddy Dirk. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> so, yeah, this was really fun to play so far, and yeah, I'm liking how things are going. But yeah, for now, it's just only the start of things, so... That's all I have for today's episode, and until next time, take care, guys. <laughs>